No. No. Jack asked for a request, and he is going to get that request. Jack Murphy asked me to review Doctor Who, Day of the Troll, which is an audiobook read by David Tennant, who plays the Tenth Doctor. Um, this is my second audio review, which of course, as you may know, is a brand new series which I've just sta recently started. And of course, um, during this point in the series of Doctor Who, the Tenth Doctor is travelling on his own, of course, after series four. Um, so let's take a look at the cover art. Um, quite like the cover, it's uh, quite cool. You got the Tenth Doctor. Played by David Tennant. It's not a sticker, if you're wondering. It's just a um, uh, a shape with a with David Tennant's name in it. Uh, you got the troll and the um, research facility center called uh, the Rain, you know, the Grange. BBC Audio, Doctor Who, the Day of the Troll, an exclusive audio adventure written by <coughs> Simon Messick. <coughs> Oh god. Got a bit of a cough. You got the side label of this audio. And on the back you've got the front cover picture and you've got the blurb. When the doctor arrives on Earth in the far future, he is horrified to find the planet beset by fam famine and starvation. England is a barren wasteland and scientists are desperately seeding the ground to make the crops grow again. But now it seems something even worse is happening. Carl Baring, the owner of the research facility of the Grange, has been snatched away in the middle of the night. His sister Katie was with him when he was vanished, but is now in a cat catatonic shock. So it is up to the Doctor, with the help of the scientists at the Grange, to investigate. What is lurking under the old bridge, and why is it preying on people? The Doctor must find out before it strikes again. So you know, slight dramatic voice there, um, so you can ignore that if you want. It's a two CD set, and the running time is uh, 2 hours and 20 minutes, so it is quite long. Um, the disc is still on my CD player, because I've just finished re-listening to it, because it's quite good. Um, so you just flip it, and you've got some more advertisements there. So now I shall review the story. It's a really good audio. Um, I'm quite glad I've I've bought it. It was uh, about six pounds, I think, on Amazon. They're quite cheap. The audio books. Um, so if you want to start with the audios, this is a, this will be a good place to start. I mean, Jack Murphy, you already got an audio. You got Dead Air, which um, I might get. It's um. Not sure whether to save up for it, so you might see it in my collection update video. You may not, but um, no, this is a, a great audio. Um, of course, the Doctor is uh, sort of a, a distress signal or something like that, and so he wants to find out what caused it. And then, of course, it's the troll and. Um, he, uh, the troll as the monster itself um, because some of the audio well Doctor Who audio book monsters I find them a little bit difficult to imagine um, uh, I'm not too sure why it's just um, I mean it's a good monster but uh, it's not like Whoa, this is scary, kind of thing. But um, with the actual story itself, uh, it's really quite good. Um, even though it is two hours long, so uh, bear in mind, don't watch this when you're tired, because you'll probably get so bored of it you would want to kill yourself. And out of ten, I would probably give this audio a... Seven. It is good. It's a good audio. I liked it. And um, I should say these are great for um, long distance journeys. Uh, depends how far you travel. But um, yeah, it's really, really good. And uh, so 
Thank you for watching this review guys, um, comment, rate, subscribe, add me on Facebook and press the like bar, I'd really like that as well and well this is goodbye.